I was hoping that today we can try out a little bit of at-home brow lamination, which I know is a service you are very, very familiar with. Okay, yeah, so it's basically a perm for your eyebrows. So we use your own natural brow hair, we set it into place, we use a solution that kind of changes the hair elasticity and allows us to like manipulate it. So when you were saying bald spots, it's really good to like cover bald areas. It makes the brows look a lot fuller, good. Um, really <laughs> fluffy. Or you can have them be more manicured too. Since the stuff London uses like in her salon is more of like professional stuff for professional use only, <laughs> we're gonna be trying out some at home brow lamination kits from this brand called Elevate the Beauty. We would start with the cleanser just to clean up anything that might be left over on your brows. We have a cleanser at the salon that we use, but sometimes I'll just use witch hazel too it's like a little bit nicer and it's more soothing i actually don't smell anything meaning <laughs> there's a stopper that's probably yeah that's why <laughs> <laughs> i did the exact same thing <laughs> okay so the lift solution is what is breaking down the protein and it's breaking down the brow elasticity but that's what allows you to reshape the brow push the solution up, but try and keep it really on the brow hair versus pushing it into the skin. Okay, so not too like firm with that pressure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it says to leave it on for eight to 13 minutes. I think that sounds like a really long time. Mm, okay, so uh, what do you recommend? But I'm assuming that this is maybe not as strong as we would be using. So I'm gonna do eight minutes because I have pretty fine brow hair. For you, what is like the texture of your hair? I would say it's not like unruly. It grows out pretty straight. It's just like thick and coarse. Yeah. Okay, so then maybe do a little longer. Maybe do 10 minutes. You need your... <gasps> Our little piece of saran wrap. Yeah. Finally. Okay. <laughs> Cut off a little piece. Okay, so the point of the plastic wrap is to make the solution work quicker and it's gonna help break down the brow hair quicker because you don't want to leave that stuff on your brow for a really long time. So the heat breaks it down, but you also don't want to, you're not trying to like push it onto the brow because you don't want to move the shape. And just press around and then you just wait. <laughs> My piece is literally humongous. <laughs> okay, my time is going, so I'm gonna take this off. And then you can use a Q-tip or a cotton round or whatever to remove the solution. Okay, so I can already see in my brows that it lightens them, which does happen, that's why we Got it. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't have that either. So I'll just fill mine in. This fix solution is what is going to neutralize. So that's kind of telling the brow hair, like, this is your new form. Like, this is the shape that you hold from now until however long it lasts. This really is just like a little little baby perm. <laughs> I'm usually a little bit more generous with this because you really want it to um, neutralize anything that you missed. Again, kind of placing versus like pushing it into the skin. You want to leave this on for the same time that you left the previous step. Wow, I'm actually um, shook. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Listen, nothing is gonna replace your own work, but I'm glad like you actually- <laughs> I don't know, I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final step is the um, nutrition, which is just this. So yeah, the nutrition step you definitely wanna do because the brows can get a little bit dry and they can feel a little bit brittle. So you wanna make sure that they are staying nourished and as time goes on, if they still feel a little dry, you can continue to use this. Oh, it actually smells quite nice. Ooh. Oh, you know what it smells like? What? It smells like, it smells like the Le Mer oil. Oh my God, listen. <laughs> you think I know <laughs> what I Le Mer <laughs> You think I even know what a whiff of Le Mer smells <laughs> like you're wrong? 
wow i have to say i am loving the results okay i'm not gonna lie i love it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice i'm like looking at my other brow and i'm like gross and this one is I like wishy <laughs> oh my god okay we did it it actually worked <laughs> not bad but again go to a professional <laughs> if you I want to know <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Please do. Don't do this really regularly, actually. I know I say that we I do it every four weeks at the salon, but because I had someone come in who had done this at home and they really liked the results and then they were like, so then I did it again two weeks later. Like, no, you, <laughs> you want to give your time, your brows time to like grow and don't be overdoing it and burning your brows off. And when you first get it done, you don't want to get them wet for the first 24 hours. Got it. So I gotta be like this in the show. It's like, oh, legally blonde, you know? It's a oh, yeah. so. <laughs> Did your eyebrows? Yeah. Are you got the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Nico from the future. I just wanted to pop in and say that this kit did the job, but it is definitely not a professional service. I would say that my brows started to go back to normal a week and a half into doing it. I still think the results are still really great. I loved how my brows look, loved that I didn't have to fill them in or put brow gel or anything like that. So that was nice, but just wanted to let you know. Okay, 